Hi, I'm Joan Newcomb, and today's Mystic Minute is The Universe Works in Mysterious Ways. I'm doing a series of daily morning musings, and I'm using posts from my blog, Adventures in Density and Effort, as inspiration. Now, I wrote these a few years back, and the world has completely changed since then. If, as I'm reading, I notice something that is out of date, I will interrupt myself and give you the most recent information. If necessary, at the end, I will give you a summary of the topic based on what's going on in the world today. Also, I have some special offers, so stay tuned to the very end to see what they are. The universe works in mysterious ways. I've had several serendipitous occurrences that verifies to me that I'm on the right track. When you're aligned with spirit or connected to your expanded self, it gives you validations. The first was a mix-up of dates. At the end of October, I booked a mini break out of town with my husband, but I forgot to write the exact dates down. I thought it was the second weekend of December. I'd scheduled a radio appearance for December 5th and said yes to East West Bookshop to do readings there on Saturday the 12th. Then I realized that's when I thought I'd be out of town, so I called East West before their December-February calendar went to press and canceled the 12th. And afterwards, I found the condominium confirmation was for the first weekend. I decided I just had to go ahead and do the radio interview while on holiday, regretting nixing East West and feeling that it was too late to change things there as the catalog had already been printed. Then I received an email from the radio host saying that their show was being preempted for a football game and could we switch to the 12th? Perfect. And because of the times of the interview, I couldn't have done East West that day as well. Meanwhile, I'd started an additional radio show of my own on Blog Talk Radio, just for giving free psychic readings. My previous radio show had increasingly interesting guests, which had been filling the entire hour, leaving me no time to take listeners' calls or the guests to take their calls, promoting their own services. I'm booked until mid-February with guests, so I won't be able to start scheduling new ones for just 30 minutes until then. I just got an email from Mike Dooley's publicist saying that he's no longer doing 60-minute interviews use only 30 minutes. Perfect. My January 12th show, I can talk to him for the first half and do many readings for the rest of the show. The final occurrence isn't fully formed yet. When I decided to add the Blogcock show to my schedule, I hadn't anticipated how energetically demanding it would be. I feel like I'm in an awful lot of effort, which I assume is going to affect my ability to create. However, this week, when I was the most tired and pressed for time, I had a show full of callers. If effort is supposed to be a deterrent to spiritual creativity, I should have had none. I'm giving it to the end of the week to decide if I'm going to continue with it. If it shows evidence of bringing in income, either calls for profit private readings, coaching, energy sessions, or sign-ups for my new online class, I'll continue. At this point, what I may do instead of five mornings a week, I'll do less. On the other hand, all the effort hasn't yet yielded the income I'm desiring. I suspect if I do stop, the flow will come in differently. That's what I'm anticipating for January when my rates go up. Less readings, but more income. On the other hand, that's also when I'm starting to teach my new online class. So that will require an acceleration of activity, recording video lessons, emailing students, etc. Sometimes an acceleration of activity doesn't deter manifestation, but enhances it. A key to law of attraction is, after putting out your request to the universe, is to let go of what you desire. If you're too busy to think, you're not dwelling on what you do or don't have. You have mentally gotten out of your own way, which allows the universe to bring it to you. Perhaps the main lesson on all of this is to just do it. Move forward. Do whatever you feel motivated to do. Drop your preconceived notions on what the outcome is going to be or should be and notice what shows up instead. So this is really interesting to me. I wrote this a while back and I haven't done my radio show in a few years now. Though the thing I also noticed is that over time, it became all about the guests and I ended up not doing any readings at all online because it was all promoting the guests and their books. And that was the other thing I loved about it is that I get lots of free books because all these publicists would send me them to consider their authors. And if you're interested, you can look at the link below. It has all my old radio shows on it. But the other thing I'm reflecting on is that I was really actively dancing with putting the work I do out into the world and with having the income come in. I'm in a different space with that right now, where I know that whatever I'm doing right now is not necessarily yielding the income. I have found that if I just do what I'm doing now, which is putting out this information that is intended to serve people in the world, this information is so important for what we're going through as a collective. With this expansion of consciousness and 
this polarization and everything feeling more extreme, the information is of tremendous value. And what I've discovered is I will do what I'm called to do and information will come in out of left field. And so for me, that's a really fun way of manifesting. You have no idea what's coming in out of left field, but when you reflect on it, it's the most perfect situation of all. So have you had any experience like this, that the effort you're doing isn't yielding the result, but support comes in from out of the blue anyway? If you've had any experiences like this, please leave them in the chat below. I love reading your comments. And if you like these videos, please click the like button and also subscribe. And that way you are telling the YouTube algorithm to share this far and wide and really get this out to the people that need to see it. And if you'd like one of my free samples of a consciousness technique, click on the skybox technique below. It will give you an expanded perspective of your life. And if you'd like some concrete ways to transform your life, I have a new self-study called Manifesting Money and Miracles. You'll learn how to change your inner vibration to completely transform your external world. And if you want to know more, my website is joan newcombcom I do individual sessions where I take a look at you as consciousness and what you're creating in your life. And I can answer any questions that you have. And it's recorded just for you. And if you want to know how to do this for yourself, Manifesting Money and Miracles is a great preparation for my coaching special where I work with you one-on-one -on -one and I give you specially chosen consciousness techniques for you to transform your life. So go to my website, joan newcombcom and I'll see you tomorrow in another Morning Musings.